Hey, what up, what up, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cornbread Returns YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming out, and really appreciate it, and welcome back to RimWorld, Naked and Afraid. We're going to go ahead and start the game. Uh, we ha are back to five people. Sadly, have a died. Uh, we, we knew that was inevitable, actually. You know what? This is really going to bug me, because this will slow them down. It's right in front of the door. That's really stupid. Um... Uh, yes, Heather did die. We all knew that was going to happen, but she died in a very unexpected way. Let's just say that and leave it at that, and we won't go uh, any further. Whoa, what is going on here? Oh, this is our guy. Oh, that's right, you guys. We had a raid, and I totally forgot about it. And I have no idea what this person's doing. We told Artyom to gear and go and sit right there. We need to recruit everybody else. Josh, get back indoors, dude. Uh, we need to recruit everybody else. Let's go to one speed. Artyom, you get come right here, my friend. Everybody, right here. We're going to go out and kill... If this guy keeps punching our, our shit, we're going to go kill him. Leopard, right here. We're going to go kill this butthole, like, in about two seconds, you guys. Uh, let's go out. Let's F this guy up. How dare you, dude? How dare you? Shoot him. Okay, so he's got a gun. We're going inside. He's going to start shooting at us. Get him. Excellent. Excellent. Get him. Kill him. There we go. Nice job. Uh, we have Ida over here. How is this guy? That was very clean. Uh, he's a careful shooter. He's volatile and super immune. So, like, he can't get sick? Oh my god. I don't hate that. Decent crafter, low-age worker, incapable of none. But he can't really hold himself in battle. So, you know what? We're just going to finish him off. We're, we, we, really, we have a lot of other things we are worrying about right now. Uh, we're about to have six people. Our food situation isn't great as it is. Uh, so, you know what? Uh, who's really good at... We have one guy, I thought, who was really freaking good at melee. Yeah, Josh. Josh, can you go finish... Strip. Josh, go strip this guy. Um, and then let's uh, finish him off. Excellent. And then why don't you go... Uh, why don't you go... Do we have any graves? No, we are full on graves. Okay. Uh, we'll put an urgent priority haul on the gun. That's our first gun, ladies and gentlemen. Is it good? Is it a decent gun? It's normal, and it's got full... It's got armor-piercing ammo, and it's got full... Hey, I'll take it. Any gun. Let's actually get a... Let's actually get a job as well. Let's go to Architect here, and let's get a job. I believe it's under Miscellaneous. We need some... Or Miscellaneous. I don't know why I said Miscellaneous. That's not, is that, that's not even a word. Um, let's go ahead and get some more graves put up here. I'm going to go boop, boop. In fact, you know what? I just don't I don't like to do this every once in a while. So we got our mass graveyard out here. I love it. Um, everyone's kind of going and taking care of their shit. Um, cornbread, you know, when you're done, dude, you're you're like number one priority. So you are on wardening, but you know what? You're kind of our cook. No. We're still gonna keep him on number one for wardening. Because wardening doesn't take very long. It shouldn't. Certainly shouldn't. Excellent. So our team's getting all that stuff. And those should no longer be dead people's clothes. We're going to send them away. Those should no longer be dead. Because we stripped him when he was alive. We stripped him when he was alive. And so we that actually should not count against us in terms of the clothing. So we should be able to reuse some of that clothing. If it's good enough. If it's not good enough, it will get automatically disassembled by Leopard. RTM's doing some recruiting, hopefully lowering the resistance. Excellent, 5.3. So we're very, we're getting very close to the point where we can actually recruit Ida, which is very good. Uh, I would like Cornbread to really get going on on this uh, the construction, and that should technically be his next priority. No, no, cooking. Excuse me, cooking. We want Josh to get on the construction, but he and he has a very high construction. We're gonna actually back off plant cutting on on Josh right now, just because we don't need it, and Josh should actually do a lot of construction. Yeah, there you go. See? And he's pretty good at it. He'll, he'll botch some stuff, but we want him to get better at it. It's nice to have multiple people who can do constructing. Good. Very good. So we're getting our battery compartment up here. And actually, that reminds me, you know what we do need? We need to make sure our power conduits are getting up there as well. Um, you know what? I know it's ugly, but we need it to get across this. Good. 
So we'll kind of do a little redundancy there and we'll go like this and we should get our batteries all internally connected, which should be great. Josh is getting all those floors done. Good. He's doing a really good job. Look how much faster he's working now, you guys. We got him off the drugs. It's a huge accomplishment. Huge accomplishment. Okay, now that this is done too, let's put a deconstruct order. Excuse me. Let's put a deconstruct order here. We'll make this a bigger room. We are, we're going to put down some floors. Uh, it is going to be outside zone still. We're not going to roof it. In fact, uh, that's a really good... It should be unroofed currently, but it's a good thing to remember to always put down a uh, remove roof area. Yeah, see, it is actually marked to have a roof. Let's go like that, and let's actually build a roof. I, I like having a little, a little hangover here, just like in the winter when there's snow. We, uh, you know, uh, we have shelter, and our paths are all sheltered and stuff like that. Cannot build roof over an oak tree. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, but th hopefully those trees will get will get cut. That's the idea. That's the idea. All right, we're doing really good. It's nice actually to have octave beyond plant cutting as well, just because. Um, yeah, and you know what? We're not gonna allow. It's the fall. We are no longer going to allow sowing. So they're gonna they're gonna harvest all this stuff for sure, um, and then. Yeah, this stuff is going to sit out here. They're going to harvest all of it for sure. We obviously don't have any place to put it right now. But I really need cornbread to get back on, on food preparation. He's going to be resting right now. I don't know why. Dude, ooh, he must have picked up a nicer uh, piece of gear. Yeah, a normal cloth parka. Okay, that works. That's right. Everybody's getting their winter clothes on. And parkas are very high. So we're making sure that, you know, everybody's got the nicest of the gear. Cloth parkas are very high on the list. That means there's a good one over here somewhere. Right? That means we have one. I'm trying to think. Button down shirt. Yeah, we got a, a pigskin parka, normal quality, very nice. Um, so it's good. That means that uh, when it gets cold, and, and you know, uh, I, I suspect that Leopard will have to make some more clothes. Excellent. So now that's roofed, uh, we are going to go ahead and put down a couple jobs. How are we doing on components, by the way? We should really know. Where are they under this? Yes, 16. Okay, good. Actually, that's not that bad. I, I was expecting a little bit worse. Um, let's go into power here and let's put down a couple batteries. Three, to be exact. And uh, that'll be good for now. That'll be really good for now, actually. Excellent, Josh is getting to our freezer, you guys. And we will probably want to identify, so who's on mining duty right now? got a lot of people with a ton of passion for it Josh likes it too we're gonna do this for Josh construct grow mine well that the thing is though constructing is always going to take precedent then isn't it so actually let's make leopard I love you tailoring I love you crafting but if I assign mining jobs, you're going to be the person to do it. And the reason I'd say that is we do have compacted machinery right here. Mine connected ores. Beautiful. So we've just queued up a mining job, which means Leopard will get on that almost right away. And I just want to make sure we always have enough components. It's a very important part of this game. Very important part of this game. Uh, Cornbread should be up and making meals after he's done with this. Is he? Yes, cooking four simple meals. Yep, so we still have... Let's take a look at this, by the way. Yep, we got a lot of stuff for him to do. Uh, and yep, four... Uh, we have fine meals. Let's bring the fine meals up to 20 as well. And then what's stir-fried? What, what cooking skill do you need? 10? We're getting very close to this. Yeah, it, this is a really good... Stir-fry is a super good food. This is part of the... I believe this is all part of the vegetable garden expansion. Now, we don't have... Right now, we do not have... Uh, do until you have... Oh, nope. Cancel. Uh, I don't know what I just did. So I'm just going to add Bill. Cook four stir-fried meals. Yes, we do need someone with uh, that, that level of cooking. We'll put 20 on there. Um, we'll do until we have 20. There we go. And uh, you know what? We'll put that simple meals. We'll eventually get to the bottom of this list. Let's go fine meals, stir-fried fine meals, kebab, vegetables, simple. That's what we're going to do. That's our priorities. 
And Cornbread will make sure we have plenty of all of them, I'm sure. So he's going to make, I, I imagine Cornbread will probably get, yeah, he's cooking fine meals now. He, so he's got good enough cooking skill where he can go after fine meals. And uh, on that note, he is very close to being able to do stir fry as well. So we really want to make sure he's always doing that. What tattered apparel do we have? Josh, what are you wearing, my friend? A cloth tribal backpack. Yeah. So you know what? It seems to be that people want to wear tribal backpacks. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I think they're different. Because backpacks, I think, are a like equipment item. And I think that tribal backpacks are a clothing item. So I'm starting to realize that people do want to wear these. So you know what? I'm going to make sure we always have a tribal backpack. Uh, yep. Do until we have... Uh, tribal backpack one always have one hanging around I don't care what you make it out of it needs to have at least 60 health points and it needs to be at least normal quality excellent so I will do that uh, I think that makes a lot of sense because right now we're on, we're making a backpack uh, octave why are you where is he Crafting is so low priority for you. Why Why did you even start doing that? I mean, I love that you have passion for that, but you're not going to do that. Well, now you're back at it. Don't you have research? Oh, RTM was doing the research. Okay. That's fine. He knows the requirements. And you know what? He has a lot of passion for it. So I actually do think that makes a ton of sense to, to have him do. But you're never going to finish them because you're on research duty. Well, do we want RTM on research duty? Cave kid. Plant cuttings number one. I'm going to put him on number one growing. Yeah, that really is the only thing he's good at. Octave, you're so... You're okay, passion, but you're very good at it. But you know what? You're way better at this stuff. And she's just better than you. We can put her on mining, tailoring, crafting. Why don't we split this up then? Why don't we put crafting? And we'll go like this. And just so we don't have log jams, we'll do this. In fact, let's just take, take them off. We'll have them specialize. And we'll put art up here too because eventually we will do that. But this is pretty important. It's pretty important not to have this kind of stuff happen. Right? Where, you know, we have uh, conflicting jobs, basically. Uh, let's make sure. Do we have wood floors? We do. Okay. Got that spec for that. Good. Very good. Josh is our main constructor right now. Cornbread's making probably tons of meals. Yep, cooking four fine meals. We were a little behind on food, so Cornbread just has a little bit of uh, catching up to do. Yep, he's going to do the kebabs. He'll do the simples at the end. Uh, we're just going to make sure we have a lot of food sitting around because we do have this many people now. Uh, cornbread, though. Actually, Octave. Uh, we'll never do hauling. Yeah. Snooty, snooty, isn't he? Snooty, snooty, isn't he? Excellent. Things are going very well. Josh is doing well. Uh, Ida, how are you doing? You're doing just fine. Uh, somebody does need to get in there, though, and clean the crap out of this room. In fact, yeah, I'm going to assign Leopard to do it right away. Good. Clean the whole room. Thank you. This is a disgusting room. Just a disgusting room. Josh, consume a fine meal. Excellent. Everyone's going to be a lot happier uh, if we're if we're doing if we have fine meals. Excellent. Good job. Clean some of the crap out of that room. Don't need those coolers around. Josh is finishing up. We're, we're no longer sewing, so this stuff's just going to sit out here. It's fine. Now that we're cooking again, we uh, we have started hauling things back into here, which is very, very good. Very, very good to see. Excellent, man. Things are going really good right now, you guys. I know I'm, uh, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say that because I'll jinx us. Batteries are getting made. We have excess power, so we're storing them up. Not a ton of excess power, but certainly enough to be putting in the batteries, right? A little bit. Very slowly. Slowly but surely. But we are going to get some solar soon, too. I believe we are researching solar right now. We are. And RTM is really going at the uh, research, which is one of his big passions. So I, I really think that makes a lot of sense to do. Octave can do other things. We always have crafting jobs. And, 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 and Octave is the guy on crafting now. Yes, he is. So you know what? Oh, good. Worker. As long as he's the worker on this, good. 
I believe we are out of cloth now, you guys. Well, no, we have some left. So once again, Leopard, uh, what are you working on, Leopard? Leopard, are you on tailoring? You are. Excellent. And Octave is on crafting. Uh, streamlined arrows, good. We need to keep everybody very well equipped. Excellent. Making those arrows. Uh, how are we doing on wood now, you guys? Uh, we are getting lower. So why don't I go ahead down here? I'm going to put a high priority haul on 400 more wood, which will, uh, once again, give probably give him the materials he needs to finish this project. Which is excellent to see. Very, very good. Excellent. Our wood stockpiles are going up again. That's very important. Uh, yeah, having those wood stockpiles be very high. And then hopefully, you know, I really want Josh to get to the... Um, yeah, we got a body hauled over here. You know what? Can somebody... Cornbread, what are you doing right now? Can you... Yeah, consume the fine meal. That's fine. I'm going to wait till Cornbread consumes his fine meal. Can you, can you come work on these graves and bury this person? And then, you know what? We're going to probably finish that door as well. Um, let's, let's haul. Yeah. Yeah, I know you don't like bodies. Boo hoo hoo. Deconstruct this door. Then we are going to because we don't want anybody going in and out of this door. We really don't. And then Cornbread, can you please uh, work on that wall, please? Thank you. Please and thank you. Same thing, Cornbread. I think with this buddy. Oh, uh, you're doing fine. Josh will get around to it eventually. Um, Josh is really making great progress all all the way around. Leopard, can you please prioritize hauling fuel and fueling up the generator? So right now, everything's still operational, even when the one of the generators is down. And that's mainly because, on oh, they're very nicely fueled right now, that's mainly because, you know, we have a little bit of a battery storage now. Now, we do want to get some solar going, which is why we're, we're researching it right now. And that should go really, really well. Uh, Cornbread is keeping up very nicely now on the food. Even though they are getting eaten at an astronomical rate. I did distract him. See, see how far he has to go right now to get materials, you guys? So we don't really have a very efficient food process, which is why fridge, and then this will be the new uh, area, and this will become just a larger common area, I believe. I think that's the plan. This will become a much, much larger common area. We'll, we'll just eliminate this, and we'll move the workshop over here. And speaking of which, we are going to want to eliminate these embrasures then uh, when we do that. So we're just going to want to make it a nice, big, big workshop area. We'll go back and forth, back and forth. It'll be great. And this can still be a stockpile zone, but we also might move it down here. And then we'll just kind of reimagine this whole entire inner base area. You know, a lot of, maybe with some more bedrooms, maybe a guest bedroom, a hospital, uh, basically moving kind of all of the production and storage and all that kind of stuff. We are not going to do, we're going to look at them. Ooh, they're very pretty. Yay. But we are not going to do anything with them, guys. That just seemed like craziness. Our food stockpiles are doing very well. Love the fact that we have fine meals. Now, people will eat other things that give them more benefits. Uh, man, our, really? Our wood situation is back to this again? Holy crap. All that construction takes so much wood, you guys. And we have wood power generators, right? I mean, all of this stuff is contributing to these, uh, these facts. Josh, what are you doing? Oh, you're constructing. Good. New recruit. No way. Ida. Excellent. Um, so I am going to have to... I am going to give... Because I'm going to kick... I'm going to kick Leopard out of her bedroom. I am going to set the owner. I'm going to unassign that. And I'm going to give Ida and Cornbread their own. Because Ida and Cornbread are dating. If I go here to social, love her. Yep, Ida. Oh, man, Leopard, ex-lover, Mega 16, look at that. We have, like, love triangles going on in here. It's like, ugh, awkward. We just kicked Leopard out of her bed, and now we're going to make love in it. Oh, uh, it's mean. Just savageness. That's what that is. Excellent. We're going to find, we're, we're keeping up on the fine meals. Okay. Cornbread is, like, it's a full-time job for Cornbread right now, guys, to make four fine meals at a time. I mean, we're eating them as fast as he can make them, almost. So he goes up there, and then just get eaten. That's okay. That, Cornbread, if this is your lot in life, Josh is doing a good job with the construction. So, where is he, by the way? Good, he's doing plant cutting. Yep, now he's back to construction. Cornbread's on construction. Didn't do a very good job. This is a wooden bed is good. Psychic drone, oh, it's low, so it's not that big of a deal. This guy, is this guy hungry? 
Please don't be hungry. I really don't want to fight one of you guys. But I will. I mean, shit, I will. Crimper, what are you doing? It's grilling some kebabs. Yes! It's grilling kebabs. People love kebabs, you guys. Uh, no stir fry yet, but cornbread's probably getting really close. Let's check out his bio. Yeah, he's getting so close, you guys. He's, I mean, he's, he's got a, a full level up to go, but he's doing really well. Josh is sleeping, but slowly but surely, all these construction jobs are getting done, guys, which is really the most important part. Uh, making sure all of our construction projects get done, uh, and that's really going to op open up some great stuff to us. RTM, why are you... Uh, what's, what's your deal, bud? The psychic drone is hurting him. Yeah. So the psychic drone is not helping us out in any way. Who's got tattered apparel? Josh, what do you got? Oh, yep, we need the tribal backpacks, basically. Cloth backpacks getting made. Who is making that? Leopard. Excellent. Because Leopard is indeed on tailoring. That's one of our number one jobs. Mining and tailoring. So, so this is just really going to town right now. We have a tribal backpack available. We're going to send the guests away because we don't have anywhere to put them still. We do have a tribal backpack available. Why is, uh, why is Tattered Apparel? He will eventually grab it, I assume. Yeah. I'm just assuming this, this Josh is just... He's going for a walk. Good. Psychic Drone is not helping everybody. Uh, all the males in the colony have a decent head on their shoulders. They're gonna, someone's going to snap, I feel like. But overall, doing pretty well. Two coolers should be enough for now. Not Probably not during a heat wave. Um, but we're going to leave some uh, stuff available there. Josh is doing an overall okay job. Uh, the, we did set quality builder standards for these things. So, you know, right now, not everything will be up to snuff. The beds are, though. That's very important to at least have good beds. I did set all the quality to be at least good. Josh is a pretty good constructor, though, so he's probably not too far off being able to consistently create really good stuff. Same thing with Cornbread. Cornbread probably has a little higher chance right now to produce quality stuff just because he is two levels up. One colonist idle. What? Idle. No, 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 no. Ida. Will not clean. Art, craft. Uh, oh, really? You have, a, you have a really high propensity for crafting, too. You have a double passion for it. You're going to be our smithy. Which actually really brings me back to a production question. We probably should start doing some smithing. Uh, what do we have? We have an electric smelter. Used to, yeah, that, that's, that's for different stuff. Um, maybe we have to, we're going to build a sculptor's table for sure. Not in here though, just because we are getting rid of it. Um, let's look at our research. Because smithing requires, smithing is a, <laughs> caps lock on, uh, smithing. Yeah. Let's look at smithing. Where is it? Smithing. So, building smithing for knives, metal, maces, work into metal, clean for... Yeah. Uh, shift, we're going to add it. And then what about gunsmithing? Where's that? Do, 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 do. Machining, gunsmithing. Okay, yeah. So, smithing will get us into machining. Into gunsmithing. So, pretty long research queue right there, guys. So, that's going to take us a while. That's fine. RTM is getting much, much better at it. Remember, he has a double passion for intellectuals. So look at him fly. Yeah. It's going to be great. We definitely don't want any uh, idle colonists. Uh, once again, Octave, this is you now. Crafting is high. Do you not have any crafting jobs? Really? What about making a recurve bow? Harvesting corn plant. Hey, you're a crafter, dude. You got plenty of crafting jobs. Got enough materials? Maybe we don't have enough materials. Holy shit, we don't have enough materials, you guys. That's why he's idle. Uh, okay. We need to go on another massive wood uh, venture, so we're gonna put an order. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Excellent. And then uh, who's on plant cutting right now? We do need that going. RTM will do that after he's done growing. Uh, and you know what? Let's get let's get Josh back to two plant cut as well. Which means that when he's not constructing, if he doesn't have construction materials, he's going to plant cut. Yep. 
Excellent. Nice, guys. Solar panels. Very good. Very, very good. Which means we are going to put power. We are going to do a couple of these. We're going to do at least one here. Let's put one there. Let's do a couple. And this should really take care of our power needs for quite a while. And then having the batteries too. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put one more battery down too. So just like we're making sure we're harnessing all of that electricity. Very positive way. Uh, Ida. Ida. Oh, you just need materials, right? Because I swear to God, I was like, did we put you on smithing, crafting? Yeah, what's up with the crafting? Craft, Ida. Wandering. So we don't have the materials? Your damn recurve bow, lady. Huh. We still have tattered apparel on Josh. Just seems crazy. I'll make him I'll make him drop the tribal backpack that he's wearing and hopefully he'll pick up the other one. It's better quality. Right? Because we the tribal backpack has a quality standard, right? Yeah. And we are taking apart. I thought this was good. It's good. Alright, well. Oh, nice bulk goods trader. Actually, you know what? We might end up selling some stuff. We have we have so many food items and other items. We might end up uh, selling. Maybe we can buy a bunch of wood. I don't know. We'll see what Cornbread says when he gets up. So right now we're we're sleeping. Oh, excellent. You know we have a lot more. We have a lot more. This is Josh's. This is Cornbread and Ida. Why don't we assign this one to? We're gonna assign this to Leopard. Leopard's room. We're gonna give this to Octave because he was one of our first dudes. Uh, and we're not going to sign this one until uh, we're done. Excellent. Leopard is pregnant. What? Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, my God, you guys. Holy shit. Cornbread impregnated Leopard and then broke up with her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, Cornbread. And now he's got a different lover. Cornbread could have, could father children with two women in our colony. Oh no. Oh no. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Such an unexpected, lovely treat from RimWorld. You, and you, you guys wonder why I love this game? Come on. That is so freaking funny. It's unbelievable. Oh, good. Psychic, psychic drone is ending. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is the one of the funnier stories in this game so far. And it is wonderful. I love it. I can't believe Leopard is pregnant. So you know what we really need to do, guys? We do need to get up like a proper hospital going on here. Um, yeah, we just do. And, and, and I think what I'm, I'm thinking about doing is... Hmm. I don't know. I was just thinking, I want a production room over here. And then what we could do is we could turn this into our hospital. In fact, I really like that idea. But then you know what we're going to need to do with the hospital? We only want, we probably only want one way in or out. Um, just so the only way, only reason to ever go in that room is just for that exact reason. So a mad wild boar, Cornbread, can you come talk? to the traders. Uh, the traders will kill the boar. Almost certainly. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. We have so much GD corn, we're going to sell 500 of it. We want silver. They have 860 silver, so we can build up a credit of about that. Let's also sell a bunch of potatoes, like 200. Uh, I don't want to deplete our, our stacks too much because we are going into the winter, but we want to. Uh, we do want to do this. Uh, patch leather? Oh, we do have 60 patch leather. Really? Let's sell the light leather, plain leather. Not, we're not going to sell any of the herbal medicine. How are we doing here? Nope, I'm going to keep all that. Uh, we're not going to sell any of this. Do we want to buy some wood? What if we just bought all of their wood? No, I almost like the silver. Why don't we just buy 100 And then let's sell some of our clothes. Oh, yes, you guys. So we'll just make more. 
but I really want to, I'm going to sell some of our really nice, valuable stuff. I'm going to keep this blue, you know, you know what? I'm going to keep, I'm going to sell the nice one and make a little more money. We're going to sell the poor toque, the awful one. Uh, we're going to sell the poor one. We are going to sell the normal one. We're going to keep the good one. Uh, we have a perfectly good backpack and a nice tribal backpack. We're going to sell the good backpack. So we're going to make 599 silver. Do we want to buy anything? No. Maybe we want to buy the rest of the wood, though, now that I, uh, I just made a bunch of money. Yeah, why not? We'll take 348 silver, which is excellent. Um, and we'll do that. Yeah. Good. We bought a bunch of wood. Whoa. What do we got here, guys? So the increased difficulty probably means we're going to get better raids with more people, and they're going to start to be better armed, which is honestly what we asked for. Uh, okay, raid is coming. We're going to go ahead. Uh, Octave is still idle. Really? I'm wondering. Even though we have crafting jobs, like make a recurve bow. Why, why can't you do that? Under required skill. Oh, he, he's too shitty to do it. Okay. That's actually good to know. So we're going to handle this raid right now, but that's really good to know that Octave needs some more basic uh, crafting jobs. And you know what, dude? We can give you a lot of crafting jobs, my friend. We can give you a ton. We can increase our bandage stash significantly. We can start doing, uh, we can increase our, our bow, our ammunition stash a little more. So we will make sure that he has plenty of to do. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and recruit everybody. Uh, actually, it's gear and go. Just everyone make sure they have the equipment they need. I am really sorry, people. You're probably going to be casualties of war. Uh, these traders are not going to like me. Um, excellent. So everyone's here. Cornbread? Cornbread, you're our point man. RTM. Everybody with a bow. Uh, Josh, what do you got? Equip this, please. No, do not arrest anybody. Go there. Ida, what do you got? Ida, will you never shoot? No. You'll shoot. I don't... What, uh... Oh, you know what? I probably didn't do, you guys. I haven't assigned Ida. Yeah. Anything? And we haven't even given her a... Uh, we haven't given her a, uh, a ammo loadout. Okay, what do we have right now? We don't have a... We have a short bow. Uh, let's look at our short bow really quickly. Let's go to this. Let's go to select... Uh, let's go to our short bow leopard loadout. Uh, this is fine. This is very fine. So we're going to use short bow leopard for you because I know we have good short bows. Uh, and then I'm going to say, Ida, can you, I'm going to go back to here. Can you gear and go right there, please? Thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll kill these jabronis before they come down and kill my people. Okay, excellent. We are now engaged in battle. Oh, get them, guys. Oh, excellent. Oh, he's got a gun? Excellent. They're, they're running now. Good. Kill him. Excellent. Hey, justice is served, ladies and gentlemen. Justice has been served. Nice job, guys. And none of their people got hurt either. I'm going to haul that because I like silver. Let's take a look at these guys. Do we want to capture anybody? We have a prisoner bedroom. We have room for two people in our prisoner bedroom right now, which I really like. And it's a decent prisoner bedroom, and the reason for that is we really want to make sure that uh, our people are, uh, you know, recruitable. It's a good bed, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good double bed. Okay, let's take a look at these guys. Um, we got Ratten, Ratten Alvarez. Okay, that's a, that's a nice name. Ooh, man, depressive, jealous, chemical interest, and not very good. Nope, pass. Always, he'll always be pissed. Nimble undergrounder and a transhumanist. Incapable of none, though. Not very good at fighting. No, nah, not very good. Not good passions. Not worth the food. Like we got, we got a, uh, we got a six-person colony right now, guys. We we need more bedrooms. Like these people are just not worth it. So, Josh, my friend, my beautiful, lovely friend, why don't you come here and strip these guys, and then strip him? And basically, you guys, I, you saw me give. I gave two commands se sequentially. Just use the shift button. It's a really nice little feature. Just use the shift. Makes sense, right? Excellent. Strip him. Excellent. And then Josh, would you be a uh, so kind as to finish him off and then finish him off? <laughs> oh, that was brutal, but you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, we got graves. Excellent. How many arrows do we have up here? I mean, it's probably ridiculous. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and allow those. Excellent. Uh, oh, good. This is all coming along really well. Josh is doing a great job. We've got uh, not a ton of wood, but we also just bought a bunch. So actually, we do. We have 446 wood. Oh, that's going to make me so mad. We're going to have to deconstruct this. Josh, would you please deconstruct this wooden wall? Those are just going to make me so mad, you guys. Uh, why is this a triple wall? That was a uh, stupid oversight on my part. What if we just deconstructed this? Yeah. This is fine. Uh, how about you make this one? You botched the construction now? Damn, dude. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little more space in our, our cooler area. I like that. No triple walls. Triple walls are stupid because then they get all screwed up with the construction priorities. Oh, nice, dude. You're doing a great job. Let's deconstruct that door then. The caravan is leaving. Excellent. We, we, we made some good silver. We made some good friends. Uh, Octave is crafting right now. Our team is on that. Ida is going to continue to be very, very idle until we have better things. So you know what? We're going to make stone arrows, and we're going to increase it to, like, let's say 40. We're also going to make sure... Uh, actually, we do have good short bows, don't we? No, they're both poor, actually. So what if I made a job for uh, a short bow? Even though I know they are ballistically in inferior. And we did details, do until we have X. Because I know he can make them. I I'm pretty sure at any, any skill level you can make this one. So let's make sure they are... Yeah, so only ones that count have at least 60 qual and are at least good quality. No, no. Yeah, good quality. Oop. No, don't pause me satisfied. Good quality. So, yep, there we go. That means we have plenty of that. Uh, we'll increase our stone arrows. Let's increase our stockpile of these as well. We have a lot of people using them right now. We don't have guns. Uh, so I, I really think this is a good idea. Excellent. Let me get some solar panels going. It's going to be good. It's a little, we're going to be a little less wood stressed, I think, all the time, guys. That, that's really, I think, a big part of this is so much of what we need right now is wood. And I think that having, uh, you know, non-wood fire generators constantly going that are required, I think we'll eventually get rid of them, too, just because they are kind of a hassle. They take wood, and what do we need for building materials? I mean, it's 75 wood every time. We, that's 150 wood every time we fill these both up. It's a lot of wood, and it goes quick. So, and that's just something we're going to be conscious of. Josh still doesn't move, you know, as fast, just because I think he has some health problems, like a bad back and kidney, like, right? He, he's hampered by some other things. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to maybe solve some of that stuff. I think with advanced bionics, we can get uh, a better sp a spine for him. <laughs> he just put a new spine in. It's funny, at the chiropractor that I go to, they have a thing that says, you can't get a spine transplant. Well, let me tell you, in RimWorld, you can uh, we're, nope, we're sending away. This will eventually maybe be... Ah, uh, no, because we're going to expand this. We're going to get a different guest bedroom. This is going to be our hospital, though. We already decided that. Octave, excellent. Uh, Octave, what about Ida? Why isn't Ida doing that? What is she doing? She's cooking? She has a passion for it. No. Ida does have a... Oh, she's very good at cooking. Oh, she's got a... Oh, she's excellent. Okay, yeah. Let's put her on two as well. She's better than you. Ida, did you just become our new cook? I think so. I'll put Cornbread back on construction. As main construction guy. Excellent. Yeah. I think we got a new cook. Ida, you just became our new cook. Very good. Which means, you know, I'm still going to leave you very high for arting and smithing. But means I'm going to probably almost take you completely off of that. Even though you really have a passion for it. You know what? Art. Art's your new focus. And we will get a, we will get stuff so you can start sculpting. And that'll help us improve the look and feel of our base as well. Uh, we are, once again, very, very low, you guys, on... Ooh, is it getting cold out? It is getting cold out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, make sure our heaters are on now. Uh, we probably need better, just better heating. More heating. So, let's go ahead and take a look at temperature. Let's get some heaters. Get another one here. This is okay. Put one there for now. Uh, 
These are all sharing ones, so they're going to be in pretty good shape. The, this bedroom right here is freezing, freaking freezing cold. Uh, we're going to relocate this heater into the middle here, and we're going to put a vent right there. And we'll have the same kind of a design. One heater feeds all three of these rooms. Good, 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 good. Uh, you know what? We do totally need a door out here, don't we? Um, let's go to structure. Let's get a wooden door right there. Josh is going to go ahead and make it. Good. Good job, Josh. Doing a very good job. Uh, we do need a structure. Get some of those chopped. Get some of those chopped. Maybe it automatically selects mature trees. I think it kind of is, I think. Uh, let's go on a massive wood chopping spree, actually. Excellent. Things are going very well. Uh, I am going to queue up, though, pretty soon here, guys. Uh, does this need? Yes. This is all roofed? No, this is outdoors. This might be too big, you guys. It might be too big. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put in a little... Uh, nope, not an embrasure. Let's just put in a single, a single guy in the middle there to make sure it can get roofed. Maybe it can. Let's see if it does first. It looks like it's going to be roofed. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Josh is taking care of all the roofs. Wow, nice, dude. We're going to have a nice indoor area there. Same thing with here. I'm guessing that that will all get done as well. We are plant cutting and hauling wood. Very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, dirty cooking area. Oh, really? Somebody, uh, maybe, who's, who's, who's idle right now? We'll never do cleaning. Octave. We'll never do cleaning. Oh, my God, you guys. Clean. Clean, 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 in, please. Leopard. Clean it all. Good. Leopard, what are you doing right now? Consuming fine meal? Okay, good. Yeah, we're, we're cleaning the cooking area. Uh, once again, uh, maybe we'll have like a legitimate kitchen. I don't know. Probably not now. Probably not now. Guys, our, uh, our little area is almost done. Josh is doing a really good job. We're chopping down a ton of wood. So all of a sudden, our wood, our wood stockpile is good again. But we're going to really make sure we're, we're doubly good. Especially for the winter, we're going to want a lot of, uh, um, we're gonna lot of, lot of wood piled up. What are you, Josh, you're still wearing, uh, yeah, it's because you're still wearing that shitty tribal backpack. We're going to get you to drop it and hopefully you'll grab a higher quality one. And uh, whoever is on tailoring will salvage the crappy one. Yeah, minor break risk. What, what's wrong with you, buddy? Oh, he's got major food poisoning. He's, he's well fed because he had a good, he had stir fry, but he had tainted stir fry. So now he's like really not doing well. <laughs> this is now, this should all be roofed. RTM. Yeah. Cotton plant has died because of the cold. Yep. We no longer, we actually no longer uh, allow sewing. So all this is going to die. That is just fine. Um, we, we should have plenty of stockpile right now for the winter. Some of this must still be unroofed, huh? Oh, it's unroofed because this is unroofed, and these 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 uh, uh, coolers have not been uh, created yet. So that's actually super important. Josh is doing construction still. Excellent. Gonna haul, we're gonna haul those quickly. Three doors is super excessive, which means I really want somebody to come deconstruct this really quickly. Can you deconstruct that door, please? Pretty 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 please. Thank you, cornbread. And you're going to move that. Excellent. Uh, and on that thing, let's make sure we have, let's make sure our wooden floors, because we've done some deconstructing, are all good. Let's do like that for now. Huh? That's good. That's very good. That's starvation. Really? RTM? Really? Looks like he's taking care of himself, though. He's going to get some food. Good. Go get some food, buddy. Oh, he's going to consume a fine meal. Excellent. Cornbread's on construction again, big time. Uh, Josh is on plant cutting, but will also do construction. So we've got a really good construction crew right now. Uh, you know what, though? What I'm going to do with Josh? Josh, I'm going to put you on a number one clean for right now. And we'll Cornbread will take care of the construction. You get on the cleaning. Guys, we're almost ready to have our full freezer with airlocks and everything, which is why I really want auto doors. 
because having auto doors here, and we're going to do one, two, three, four auto doors, and we're going to have a production area right over here. And speaking of which, let's get our production area going right now, you guys. Let's wood floor it. It's going to be a nice big room. Uh, and, but, but you know what we are going to do? We're going to cut it in half, like here. We're going to put a wooden door right here. And uh, we're going to do something else with this over here. But we're going to eventually move everything over here. In fact, you know what we need to to make sure we can do that? Let's get power conduits. Let's go through the doors. To here. To down there. To here. Back up. We've got a pretty good steel pile right now. I uh, want some redundancy, so we'll go right through there. Uh, and, you know, that's just, just stupid. Uh, there we go. We've got good... Do we still have good steel stockpile? pile? No. Guys, we're all out of steel. That's why those construction jobs aren't getting go uh, going well. Well, we're going to mine this entire area. And guess who our, our miner is? Uh, it is Leopard. And that will become her number one job. Excellent. She's making a uh, nice uh, parka. Or she was... No, she was, uh, she was undoing it. Excellent. That's her job. Keep those stockpiles good. Hell yeah, Leopard. Double passion for mining, I believe. Which is just awesome. And guys, oh my god, we've been playing 43 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and put a cousin video. But uh, things are going really, really well. Uh, we are eventually going to deconstruct. In fact, you know what? We want to do that. Let's do that right now. Let's deconstruct these embrasures. Um, yes. 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 Because, no, no, no. Not all of them, actually. Not these ones. In fact, wait a minute. Well, no, that's, that's really stupid. Uh, not an embrasure there. You know, mm, this probably means we need to expand our... If this is going to become a production zone, we really need to expand our... Uh, here's what we're going to do. We need a defensive area. So we're going to deconstruct all of this. And uh, can we remove floors? Doesn't need any. Good. Um, you know what? We will use these little stone structures, though, for our wall. Because um, we just need a new defensive structure now. Because I don't want embrasures in our, in, in our in internal uh, area. You know what I mean? So I want them to have doors to be able to access out here. You can get out here this way as well. Um, we are going to want a wooden door there. Oh. Oh. It can't build the wall here. Then you know what? Let's just do it here. And actually, that even makes it more efficient. Which means I will cancel that, and I will just build a wooden wall right there. You know, in fact, you know what? I can build another door there. Eh, let's, let's just line up the door here. So, door there. Door here. And then we'll put embrasures here. Here. And here. And then we'll get rid of these internal ones. We'll convert these to walls. Bears out there doing some crazy shit. This guy's been hanging along way too long. But yes, I do have to go to put this video. I can just keep playing, playing, playing. It has been 43 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are enjoying this naked and afraid, that's how we started. Uh, why is this a prisoner bedroom? Oh no! It became a prisoner bedroom and kicked and kicked Josh out because uh, we need to get this. Oh, we need steel. Seriously? We do need steel. Uh, SOB. Uh, but that's going to have to wait until next time. If you guys are enjoying this, like, a comment, and subscribe is all the support I ever need. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.